It's your boy. It's your angst king. Seance Love. Also known as Science and the Crypto Knights. Hey, so you wanna shave your head, huh? Well, you came to the right place. I know you're thinking, you look like you have hair. Well, I have shaved my head in the past. So let's get into it. I have no idea what this is gonna be titled. There's a notification on my screen. So yeah, let's go. Here are some things that I have observed and I learned when I shaved my head. It will grow out weird if you don't maintain it. As some of you know... Yes. As some of you know, I grew out this really weird looking... I don't know what to call it. It was like a weird mullet situation. Barely blonde, yes, that one. It was disgusting. So, uh, if you don't maintain it, or at least make it look like a cute pixie cut when it's growing out, and shave the sides, and keep the top, you know, fluffy and stuff, it's gonna look really bizarre, depending on your hair texture. I was not one of the lucky ones who actually look decent when they do that, so... Okay. Another thing I learned is if you bleach it when it's at that length, your scalp might peel for weeks. If you have sensitive skin, like I do, it's gonna look really bad for a little bit. Okay, so I bleached my hair when I was at, when I had the buzz cut, so I could hear my scalp sizzling and frying when I had it done. So, when I went to the beach a few days later, obviously I couldn't wet my hair or lack thereof, when I would wake up in the morning, I would see blue flakes on my pillow from the hair dye and the scalp skin that is peeling off of my head from the sizzling when I got it bleached. So be mindful of that. It's kind of gross. Especially when it just sticks to like, the tiny pieces of your hair, because you barely have hair, people are going to see that and they're going to go... Ew. Only do it if you're completely sure because it will take a while to grow into a proportionate looking non-awkward hairstyle. Yikes, I threw the iPad. Uh, here's the thing, when you shave your head, it's one of the best experiences you're ever going to have with anything that you do with your appearance. So, it's not really something that you should be scared of because hair grows back anyway, but you just have to make sure that you're not going to feel awkward and stuff in the grow up period. I mean, one way or another, you really will, but make sure that you're comfortable with whatever may happen. Then go for it, because you're going to look great. So, here are some reasons that you should shave your head if you're looking for, you know, some sort of affirmation or sign from the universe on, should I shave my head? Like, I don't know how am I going to look? Here are some reasons that you should. It's gonna look cool as hell, especially if you want to go for that androgynous look or you just want to look more natural, go ahead. And also, you're gonna see more of your face, your beautiful face. And you can put like cool designs in it, like with the zigzags and everything, and you could bleach it and dye it, put cool, you know, patterns like this on too, if you're bougie and you have that kind of money or that skill. It's gonna look really nice. So yeah, you <laughs> here's something that's actually economical. Wow, you save a lot on shampoo. Well, I didn't wash my hair a lot when I had a shaved head only because it was dyed and I didn't want it to fade fast. And as some of you may know, Arctic Fox fades pretty fast because it doesn't have any chemicals and parabens and things like that so even with me just washing it once a week with micellar shampoo Pantene Pantene micellar shampoo 
picture. Uh, which is a bit pricey by the way, but pretty much worth it. You save a lot on bleach and dye too. Uh, I still have the bottle of Arctic Fox Poseidon Blue that I used, which is what we used to dye Louis' hair before. So, yeah, you're gonna save a whole lot. Except if you keep, you know, re-dyeing it, then yeah. But still, it's a lot compared to like if you have like hair length like this or anything longer. Yeah. Oh yeah, and for the shampoo thing. The great thing about having a shaved head is you can either wash it every day, every other day, once a week, I don't know, like once a month if you're if you're crazy or no you're not crazy, you're probably just you know, vibing or anything, but whatever. Yeah. It's gonna look cool and you're gonna save some money. Which is pretty useful in times like this. <laughs> Pandemic tings. Okay. <laughs> Alright. For those of you who like wigs, who use wigs, or you know, your performers and stuff like that, or cosplayers, you get to use wigs without having to stuff a lot of hair into a wig cap, which is extremely convenient. Uh, unfortunately, I did not have a wig when my head was shaved. So I did not have the pleasure of just putting it on, calling it a day. No. Uh, I only got my wig when my hair was already about, you know, pixie cut length. Or something in my eye. Yeah. Wigs. <laughs> I'm so sorry, this video is just like, kind of all over the place. If you're getting that vibe, you know. It's just... Look how cute the nails are. <laughs> okay. You feel so fresh and cold all the time. That's another reason why you should shave your head, especially in the summer. Because, you know, you got all the time to grow it out. It's just hair, y'all. Unless, you know, it runs in the genes of, like, really slow-growing hair or some kind of disease or something or condition that makes your hair fall off excessively oh uh, it's hair it's gonna grow back you should you should do it come on just do it oh uh, okay <laughs> just do it it's a cool story to tell seriously i think that everyone should shave their head at least once in their life Honestly, you won't regret it. You seriously won't. And, you know, it ha- Okay, here's another reason why I shaved my head. Like, some- uh, A little bit over a year ago. It's because it helped me embrace a lot about the way I look. Cause, you know, uh, there's, a, there's always a lot of things that you wanna change about yourself. You know, little things. I oh, wish. My facial structure was like this. I wish that I looked like this person and stuff like that. I wish this thing wasn't there. So, I just went and said, you know what? I want to stop hiding behind my hair because I always had a fringe. Almost all, almost every year. I'll try to show some pictures of me when I was 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, I, yeah, a little bit. I would still hide a, light, h hide a lot behind my hair. I was 18 when I did it on graduation day. I looked like this in the morning and then this at night. So it was a really great day. And then less than a week later, I got my septum and double helix pierced. So, I would definitely do it again, uh, probably, uh, maybe in like a year or two. I do want to have a mullet first before I do it, because mullets are just so cool looking. Yeah, like I said, you get to embrace a lot of the things that you wouldn't normally appreciate about yourself. And it just overall helped me, I guess therapeutically, let go of all of the baggage from high school. 
because it, it felt symbolic, you know, when I, I was at the salon because I don't have the electric razor and it felt friggin awesome it was like zzz. I have a video somewhere, I'll probably show it at the end if I find it so yeah, stay tuned for that and honestly I don't really have a lot to say anymore but I just wanna talk about some random stuff with you guys so if you're only here for the shaved head thing you may leave now ma'am sir because I'm about to do a little rant okay uh, twenty percent so basically I freaking saw this stupid deleted post I think for, it was from like some police account that talked about like girls not wearing short shorts to avoid sex crimes yeah because that's totally the source of it huh not just stupid rapists and molesters if that was the sole cause and reason of sexual violence then how come people in the beach can control themselves how come there are victims that are you know children even infants and people in uniforms i'm not going to get too much into it because you know i'm pretty sure for a lot of people it's a sensitive topic and it's but it, it's not something that i can just ignore because it's not in my nature to let stupid people especially government hired people to say dumb ass crap like that with your sexist bull okay i'm not gonna say it but yeah uh it's just infuriating and sometimes I really wonder how, how in the freaking world people are so regressive in that sense, you know? Like, uh, it's pointless. It's so pointless trying to describe, to explain to these people you know, certain things, you know, they'd rather say put on some pants and call it a day well, no to you, sir, because I'm pretty sure most of the time it's a guy saying it and for those women who agree why? that's all I'm gonna say, because I hate getting too preachy, but there are things that cannot be ignored so I'm gonna go grab my dogs just to, you know have a little bit of a fun time Can I just add how exhausting it is to exist in a world where people teach their sons that, you know basically nothing most people just make their daughters think that it's their responsibility to cover themselves up just so that boys won't get tempted and stuff like i find that extremely stupid because there are even people old people who who are victims of these violent sexual crimes okay and like i said literal infants so if you're telling me that that's the reason why and And then you're dumb. You're dumb as hell. It's just... It's not... Factual at all. I just find it so stupid. Okay, so... Everyone's pretty, having a pretty stressful week. Louie just took a shower. Gucci doesn't want to go in here, so I'm not gonna force her. Because she's so large and tries to bite me if I do attempt to so just say hi Lou 
Hi. Hi, Mimi. Why are you frozen? Why are you frozen? There, perfect. <laughs> okay. That's it, y'all. Um, as usual, go like, subscribe, comment, share, tap on that notification bell and everything. Hopefully next week we'll get Gucci to come here, you know, her royal highness will finally allow an appearance. And yeah, I need to get out of this coat because it's so hot, but you know, it's so fabulous too, so. Yeah, uh, also about my song, Serial Dater, real quick, I'm really thankful for all the support that I got, and also for this channel and for the Facebook page too, and followers on Instagram, at Bulletsthetic, give me a follow if you haven't. Yeah, overwhelming amount of support, and it means a lot to me definitely gonna make more songs pretty soon i plan on releasing another song probably might do a diy music video pretty soon but i'm gonna need to collab with a few people people my friends to do that because i definitely cannot do that alone i do not even have a dslr camera so yeah looking forward to that looking forward to hearing from you guys and you know, interacting with more of you. I'm probably gonna do a Q&A pretty soon. What about? I have no idea yet. And... Yeah. This is like, one of the weirdest videos I've ever made. Because to be honest, I usually have a really planned... outline for how I'm gonna say... things and... stuff like that, but... I just felt like I was gonna wing it today, so I did, and I regret it so much. But yeah, you know, that's the update on my music. You know, follow me on follow me. Like the Facebook page if you have Facebook. Seance on the Klepto kids. Can't miss it. Uh yeah, stay safe everyone and I look forward to <laughs> Hopefully getting more supporters on, you know, the different platforms where I create things. And yeah, it's really nice to hear from you guys. And I really hope all of you are doing well. And again, thank you for all the support that I'm getting, especially from the people who have been with me from the very beginning, even when I would just talk about it at like 3 a.m. and everything when I was like 14 so yeah because of you you know I was able to push myself to do something that I've always wanted so it really means a lot to me now I'm just gonna model on the rings <laughs> okay you know uh this outfit inspired me to make a lookbook pretty soon maybe you know maybe i'll you know i'm not gonna spoil it but yeah also random music recommendation i've been listening to a lot of mika lately if you don't know mika check him out he's great i have been listening to him since i was 12 years old some of you may already know him but he isn't exactly uh, getting the attention that he deserves, so Stan Mika. <sighs> when I listen to his music, it makes me smile, makes me dance. And that says a lot because I am not a good dancer. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why I'm a musician. <laughs> but yeah, he's really good. Okay, what else can I say about that? His music makes me feel things that I desperately need right now because of how routine my life has become because of the quarantine. You know what, I'm just gonna title this video something like, you know, rambling because it's so aimless. <laughs>
I just like talking to you guys like it's yeah yeah I just like talking to you guys also I'm just gonna talk about some of the jewelry that I'm wearing real quick okay haven't worn this crown since I was 15 when I won it I won it for a thing at school and uh I made this from a chain and a bracelet. I just put it together with like pliers and like wrote on it with whiteboard marker so I can change whatever I want whatever I want it to be. Wow, 10%. Let's keep going. This is from my wax hands that we got in Singapore and you know it fell apart so I saved the little pendant. This was just a chain lying around. You know, these are the usual rings that you see. All of them are from online except for this one and this one, which was a gift. And this was from a Fiesta in Cebu. And I found this glove just lying around the house and I cut it just because, you know, DIY. Oh, I wish it would just stay like that. <clears throat> like a pin. Anyways. Thanks for sticking around if you Louis just left by the way. You know <laughs> this video is I I can't begin to tell you how much of this I'm going to edit out and cut out. It's gonna be such a pain in the ass. But you know yeah you know that feeling when you have like so many thoughts in your head at once but also nothing comes out of your mouth? That's me right now. So I'm gonna end it here but also I don't want to because I just want to keep talking while looking like this because I don't get to dress up anymore because I don't really go outside unless I'm doing running errands. So I don't know what else can I talk about? Okay before my phone dies. Let's talk about what I'm reading right now. I'm reading Anne Frank's Diary, inspired by Neutral Milk Hotel. Jeff Mangum, thank you for this recommendation. And I'm, I've, um, I have been sp sporadically, is that the proper term for this? <laughs> Lit major. I've been reading this but like not consistently it's just a fun thing to read every now and then got it from fully booked uh and frank sarah is also from fully booked uh can you see my knee okay no okay now you can i'm also reading the count of monte cristo because edmund dantes uh yeah I wish I could do something more interesting to keep y'all engaged because I am seriously at a loss right now and yeah hopefully I can get back to uh, being consistent with making music but it's not really because here's the thing about music it's not really something that you can force I'm not the type of person who just says right dang it uh, that's hard and usually when I do that, it the writing starts to look robotic and just nursery rhymey, I guess. But yeah, if you write, I think you you understand what I mean. But yeah, if you don't, then take my word for it. But that's my experience. <sighs> okay. Ugh. Okay, I'm finally gonna end it. I'm finally gonna end it. Uh, take care, everyone. I plugged everything a while ago, so go ahead and check those out. I'll still be leaving the link to my song down below if you still haven't heard it. And yeah, make sure to follow me on Spotify and everywhere I probably am. Take care. Stay hydrated and just... Pit my ride. I miss pit my ride. Bye. Yeah, you do. Anyways, hey guys. Uh.
Thank you. That's we just mine. reached 101 that's subs. That's mine. Uh -huh. Just give me the video. We just reached 100. <laughs> so as I was saying, we just reached 101 subs. Uh, what? We just reached 101 subs. Thank you so much. Hopefully we can get to 200 before December. I set the bar really low, so uh -huh, I won't get disappointed. Uh -huh. Thank you for all the support. It really means a lot to me. Wait. Hope all of you are taking care oh, oh, and standing oh. for your causes and everything. Oh, no. I know, you know, I'm supporting oh, no. y'all. Hi, baby. Hi, Lou. Why are you even showing me? Mm. Why are you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I love Lou, Lam.